We are in the Microsoft Lumia Windows phone. We're going to download the Windows 10 Technical Preview. Currently, we have Windows uh, 8 on the phone, and we're using a Lumia 1520, which is one of the approved phones. So let's go ahead and take a look at our URL here. So it's windows.microsoft.com forward slash en dash us forward slash windows forward slash preview dash download dash phone so go ahead and pause it here if you need to write that down and didn't get that we're gonna go ahead and continue so uh, we've got our Windows phone projecting projection uh, app alright so now what we need to do is to open up in Internet Explorer that particular app and we are here so let's go ahead and we're going to download the app download this Windows folder. There we go. Windows Insider app. And go ahead and click install. And this is kind of a big download, so we'll fast forward during the installation process if nothing's really happening. So now we'll go ahead and click on Windows Insta Insider, which is the app that it just downloaded. And we'll click on Get Preview Builds. So we have a couple of different options here. So the top one is going to be uh, for an option where you may have more issues, and the other one will be maybe where you have less issues. But uh, we'll go ahead and choose the top one and choose the next go ahead and choose to confirm and accept phone is ready to get updates rebooting the phone all right the phone is rebooting and uh, once it's reconnected we'll get started again all right our phone is back up again go back to Windows Insider Okay, now it's saying to go to Settings, and then we're going to go to Update. And there's our phone update. We'll go ahead and click on that. All right, when we go back after the reboot to Phone Update under Settings, we should start seeing this Downloading Updates. And uh, when it's done, we will start. Now, if you go back into Phone Update and it says everything's up to date and you don't see this, then go back to that web page and choose the other option, uh, the, the one on the bottom that says get them faster. Or if you chose that one and it doesn't work, choose the top one. So for some reason, it doesn't always kick off when you choose one or the other, and you might have to do it twice. All right, once the download is done, then it starts to do the preparation for installation. All right, when it's all done, this is the message that comes up. An important update is ready to install. Uh, you won't be able to use your phone. Well, it takes five to 10 minutes to do the installation. So let's go ahead and hit install. All right, so our Windows 10 update is complete. Unfortunately, it broke the ability to use the uh, Project My Screen app, uh, which is not compatible with Windows 10. So we'll just go ahead and take a look at uh, what this thing can do. So besides the slightly different look of the front interface, we see the phone icon is a little bit bigger. Some of the different uh, things are a little larger. Uh, also, our menu with all the apps looks a little bit different as well. Not a huge difference. But one of the things I really see a difference in is the uh, settings. So you click on settings, and you can see this uh, has made a lot less different menu items which is nice, uh, but when you open up the menu items, such as system, then you see uh, some of the different things that you're used to, plus some new things as well. So uh, they sort of categorized the, uh, the different areas a little bit better than they did before. <clears throat> so let's go ahead, and we also have the update, uh, option to uh, do update and recovery as well. Let's go back to the home screen and open up the big thing, the big change, which is Project Spartan. So this is the new web browser. We still have Internet Explorer there. But this is the uh, the new web browser. 
and it automatically opens up to Cortana. Uh, but we may not want necessarily to do that. We may want to go just to the browser itself. So hit the back button. And from here we can go ahead and type in any particular website that we want. So we'll just go to uh, click news.google.com. I know a lot of people are wondering, can you still get to Google? And yes, you can. And there it is. Of course, it looks a lot different than it did before. And it seems to be pretty fast. Let's go back. And back to uh, Bing again. And uh, from here we can do uh, a voice search or we can do uh, you know, anything else. Uh, just a regular type of a search. Here's our add to favorites, add to reading list, settings. And up here... We can go ahead and type in whatever it is we want. You see the keyboard looks a little bit different. There's this little dot right there. And uh, it looks it works kind of like a mouse. It's kind of hard to see when you press down on it. It looks like it looks like a mouse where you can move things in any one of four different directions. Uh, but I haven't completely gotten that one figured out yet. Uh, we also have the option for the microphone as well. And uh, we'll just go ahead and click on that. Find news. And there's news. So that's how easy it is to do that. We have this little blue icon in the bottom right hand corner. And uh, here's feedback. You can make changes. Uh, say yes I like, no I don't like, whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, so you can send feedback to, back to Microsoft about that. So, there's a lot of things to discover in Windows 10, but that is how you install it, and that is Project Spartan. Uh, so we'll do a lot more videos on uh, some of the different things that it has.